We have a popular application of Green's general theorem, or a more general version of Green's theorem. What we want to do is we want to suppose that the line integral, the closed integral, the circulation around path C2 is equal to 12. And then we want to use Green's theorem to determine the circulation around C1 of my field dot ds. We're going to assume that the curl of f is minus 3 in d. So what, so what we're looking for is we're looking for the double integral of over d, the curl of f dot ds, or da in this case which happens to be dy dx. The change rectangularly. Well, if we look at that, we know this to be the integral c1 f dot dx minus the integral around c2 f dot dx. All right. So we know this is true because if we are walking along the path to the left, if the region D is on our left, then that's the positive line integral. But if the region that we're integrating over D is on our right, then that's the negative contribution to the entire integral using Green's theorem. Well, we know a couple of these pieces. And if we keep on keeping on, we can go, we can find them. This is the double integral over d. Now they gave it to us that the curl was minus 3. So this is minus 3 dy dx. That's going to be equal to, what are we looking for? We're looking for the integral over the closed path c1. Alright, so we don't know that part yet. But what we do know is we know the integral over the closed path C2. They gave it to us and they told us that it was 12. Okay, so now let's further go on our integration. If I pass that minus three out, then that integral over D, dy dx, with the minus 3 on the outside is going to be equal to the integral over the closed path c1 f dx now remember this is what we're looking for subtract 12 from it if we take a look at this double integral over that domain d we see that if that value is 1, we have the area. So this is the same as minus 3 times the area of D. And then that going to be the integral around C1 F dot DS minus 12. So now we're almost done. We just need to know the area of D. D is a rectangle. All right. We should see the big picture here. OK, so now that we're back up here, we're working on this guy. What we need to find is we need to find the area of region D. So if we're taking a look at the entire area of region D, we see it's a rectangle that extends 5 in the positive x direction and 5 in the negative direction. 3 in the positive y direction and 3 in the negative x direction. So the entire span of that rectangle is 10 by 6. So the area of region D 
D, that's going to be 10 times 6, or 60. I think this one's trash. So I can put that right there, and I can find my integral around the closed path C1 of the field dotted with the differential of arc length. I'll find that this is minus 3 times my area of D, which was 60. There's more to my area, isn't there? If I'm back over here, this is the area of the entire thing. We want the area of D. So this is going to be the area of the rectangle minus the area of that circle. The area of that circle is radius is 2, area is pi r squared. So I see this is going to be minus 4 pi. So this is 60 minus 4 pi. And that's going to be the area of my region D. So in here, I'm going to take 3, and I'm going to multiply it by 60 minus 4 pi. And then that's going to equal my integral around my closed path, f dot ds minus 12. Great. I'm almost done. Let me finish him. So then my integral about my closed path c1 f dot ds is going to equal minus 6 not 60 180 plus 12 pi plus 12 sure gather collect and combine and then I'll have 12 pi minus 168 and that's equal to my integral here and then that's the exact value if you want an approximation it's going to be minus 130.3. And you do a box. And a flag.